What's up guys? I wanted to make a quick video and thank all of you who have been following this page and following this little journey I have been taking uh, on the Thomas Goodwin documentary. I have been doing a whole lot of reading. I have reached out to a few brothers. Um, they're going to be helping me out. They're going to be doing, uh, they're going to be pretty much guests in the video. So it's a uh, Thomas Goodwin documentary slash short documentary slash video. I have been trying to reach out to some brothers who I know are very knowledgeable in this subject. And uh, some of them have confirmed, some of them haven't. And I have my fear that some of them won't be joining this video. So I want to take a different approach to this video. I have been thinking about a bunch of ideas. And uh, first I wanted to create this image of like, uh, like this sequential image where at the end you'll have this big old uh, picture. Uh, but sadly, I'm, I have moved away from that idea. And uh, right now I'm, I am working on having it by parts. So it'll be like, you know, part one, part two, part, part three and part four. I do want this to be 30 to 45 minutes long, but something tells me it's probably gonna be a little longer than that. Um, one quick thing that I, I, I loved was uh, about a story of Thomas Goodwin that I read about him. Uh, we don't know whether this was before his conversion or after his conversion, but we know that a pastor preached this in one of his ser sermons in 1691. And he's saying that he had this conversation with Thomas Goodwin about uh, this one minister who was preaching and talked about how he was basically personating God and saying, Here's this Bible, I'm taking it from you because you have been neglecting the word. And then it says that the, the, the minister grabs the Bible and just turns, turns around and then basically just like emulating as if it's God taking the Bible from them. And then he turns around and drops on his knees, lifts out his hands and says, God, no, don't take the Bible from us. You can take our children, you can burn our houses. Basically, you can take all our richness, but do not take the Bible from us. And then again, the pastor personates God and says, I will try you a little longer and uh, basically leaves the, the Bible there. Uh, and it says that Thomas Goodwin, if he's listening to this one message being preached, once the whole thing was done, he leaves. Uh, once he exits the, 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 the church, uh, at that time, they used to ride horses everywhere. He says that he grabs his horse and starts crying, just thinking about the message that he just heard. And then honestly, he says that he's standing there for about 15 minutes before he can regain some strength so he could ride that horse. And then so it's things like that that I want to talk about in this documentary. Uh, pretty much I want to I want to break it down in those parts that I'm talking about. Every single one of those parts will cover an area of his life. So I'm really excited about that and I hope you are as well. This is probably going to take a little longer than, than expected. But you know what? It's a project that I have been wanting to do for a long time. So if you guys want to support this project, one thing you can do for sure is you can pray for this project. And uh, I'm doing this to show the God of Thomas Goodwin, not to just show who the Puritan was. But if you guys want to support this, you can pray for me. You can pray for this project. Also, you can become a patron and you can share this video. Thank you guys for all your support. I'll see you guys later.